Hey guys, welcome back to Electrical Car Repair Life. Thank you guys for watching and subscribing to the channel, guys. In today's video, guys, if you have a Ford vehicle and we'll demonstrate on a Ford Focus, but it may help you on other Fords as well. If you have the TPMS light, okay, this is the tire pressure monitor light illuminating on your dash. We'll explain, guys, how to know, okay, if you need new sensors, if you need to put air in the tires and all that stuff guys and if you if you put uh, the, uh, the air that's required in all the tires and you drove the car for at least 30 minutes guys and the light is still there we'll explain how to check your TPMS sensors and if one is bad how to know which one it is so make sure guys you stay with us uh, hopefully the video will be helpful in addition we'll have more than 200 videos because our mission is to save you guys as much money as we can so please guys subscribe to the channel and like the video let's start on it and show you guys okay what we'll be doing now this is it guys, 2012 Ford Focus, it will work for the whole generation and even other Ford vehicles as well. I'm going to go ahead, start the car and I will explain guys, okay, what to do. Okay, but before we do that now guys, I want to show you something. Here you have the label guys, okay, label for the tire pressures and all that stuff. And you can see it says front rear 35 PSI, that's what we use in the US, or 240 KPA, that's uh, most, uh, mostly European guys, international leading there. In US, 35 PSI. So what I recommend, put 35 in each tire, make sure that it's that, drive it for at least 30 minutes if that doesn't fix the problem, then you may need to rewarn the TPMS sensors, guys. Sometimes they will get confused. Okay, those guys, sometimes will get confused. And uh, how you rewarn them, you put 40, PSI in your tires, but inspect your tires to make sure that they're not uh, old, cracked, because 40 PSI it's pretty high and you don't want that thing to explode, but you need to put 40 PSI and there is a special procedure, we have the video on the channel that explains how to rewarm the sensors. Okay, it's pretty simple guys, you can check it out on the channel, you turn the ignition on and you pump that button certain times in certain time. Okay, and it's going to activate the warning procedure and you start deflating the tires until it's rewarded. Now, that could be done pretty easily. Again, you can check it guys, we'll have it, uh, we'll have it on our channel. But what I'll do now guys, we'll get that computer here. Okay, that's a very, very powerful computer. And we're going to connect it to the OBD port and if you need to check out where we get our computer from, they have two versions, they have a Bluetooth and a cable one. So depending which one you want for yourself, pretty, pretty good little device. We're going to go ahead and unlock. Now, right here it supports so many, so many models <coughs> and car makes, not just Ford. I want to show you quick if you're on the market for one to see how much you can do with that thing. You can even guys work on Ferraris, Lamborghinis guys and, <coughs> excuse me, all that kind of stuff. So. We'll go, click VIN, auto detect, we'll turn the ignition on. Okay, ignition key needs to be on. We select Ford, USA. And now guys, okay, what we're going to do, we will select confirm for the VIN number. And after that, okay, it's almost loading. We're going to confirm yes. And we'll be almost ready guys. Okay, we're establishing communication now. We just need to wait a little bit. So it should be any time now and we should uh, establish communication very soon. So that way, okay, we select control unit. We select the first one, check, you can access every computer in the car and we select PCM. This is the power train control module live data what i'll do now guys okay i will uh, practically you don't even have to start the car if you want you can but i won't even start it uh, but we drove the car for a while okay and i want to show you now guys how you can check if all the tpms sensors are uh, reading and they're in working condition so now we're going to go ahead and scroll Okay, he, he injector status, you can see how many parameters you can check here, it's just unbelievable guys. Oh, 
Okay, you will be under left and right, I believe. Give me just a second. Okay. Nope, actually, guys. Okay. My bad, because this one gives you so much information. Ambient temperature, left, right. It will not be under the uh, this computer, okay? It's been a while since I used that thing. So I'll go back and we're going to select... Okay, we'll go to BCM. This is the body control module. And we're going to click live data on this one. It's loading again. Now, right here guys, okay, what this, uh, what this one says, this is guys, okay, front tire, I think it's called placard pressure, it's 241, okay, and uh, 241 guys, it's what the recommended one should be. Now, if I go guys, down, and we're going to select left, front tire pressure check it out that's what we have now the computer reading it says 200 guys 286.83 kpa and in order for the light not to be activated it needs to be above 241 that's what ours is now check it out ours says 286.83 so front left tire is working guys what about left rear tire guys left rear outer tire pressure right here 278 so this one is good too guys it gives you a value that it's working and now we're going to go to rear okay and we have for the uh, rear tire plucker uh, pressure again to 41 rear uh, right front tire 252 so that's good the sensor is reading if you have a bad sensor it's going to show zero guys zero it will not work and on the rear right side we have 173 so in our case you just a low tire guys low tire that's all it takes so we need to add uh, pressure and uh, we need to drive the car for a while and everything will turn off after a while so you can see that's the only problem that we have but if one of those sensors is bad what will happen guys here okay you will have uh, zero instead of an actual value and you can add uh, air and see if it's going to change but once you reset all that guys you're ready to go pretty much so uh, hopefully guys the video will be helpful thank you for watching please subscribe to the channel for more videos and see you guys next time